This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this movie, we're going to take a look at the physical sun and sky lighting system. This is part of Mental Ray, and it creates indirect lighting for your scene, and it does so using the final gather algorithm. This is a real handy tool for creating day or nighttime shots rather quickly for your 3D scenes. Let's create it by going into our render settings and we'll choose indirect lighting. And at the top we have environment and we have two options here, one of which is our physical sun and sky. And we'll choose create. And when we choose create, Maya automatically creates a network of shaders that are from Mental Ray and connects them to your camera and your scene. You can also see that it turned Final Gather on, and it's using just the defaults. So we'll stick with those defaults to get decent render times, and we'll just choose Close. And let's render our scene as is. And then we'll take a look at a few of the nodes that are being utilized to create this setup. So here we have our final image, and we can see just from the click of one button, we get dynamic lighting. We have full shadows being cast by our buildings, and we have a nice brightly lit sunny day for our city. Now, the nodes involved here are this physical sky node. It's generated. It holds a couple of attributes that we will from time to time go in and alter. We have the multiplier, which will multiply the intensities of everything. So if the light is not strong enough, we could increase that multiplier to two and it will effectively double the amount of light in our scene. We also have a value for haze and adding haze will give a fog-like or atmospheric-like appearance to your render. And then other attributes here for altering the color and the final output of the colors that are being cast into the scene. And we can change our ground color, which you can see very faintly off in the back there. There's just a little hint of gray. That is our ground color. And of course, night color is black, but you know, you might add just like a tint of blue for like a bright full moon kind of a night. And then we come down to our sun. Now the sun has its separate node here, and it goes to sun direction. But the sun itself is a directional light, and it's sitting right there in the middle of my city. And it was created when we added this node by choosing the Create Physical Sun and Sky from our render settings. And let's just go to a different camera and look at it. There's the directional light. And just like with all directional lights, it doesn't matter where it's positioned. It's all about its rotation. And we'll just scoot that off to the side here, and let's zoom up just a little bit. And we'll bring that render view back. The cool part about this is when I move this light through rotation, it actually changes the time of day. So let's rotate it back so that the sun is actually coming from a very low point in the sky. And we'll render just a small area to see its effects. Now when it finishes rendering, you can see that we have long shadows that are being cast from these buildings over here. Again, the sun is behind it. It's pointing across our scene here. And now even the background color is changing to that dusk kind of pinkish tone, which helps bring illumination into the scene and color. And if I were to rotate this the other way, That'll completely flip my shadows now that the light is behind these buildings over here. These buildings will cast the shadow down onto the street, and also it's changing the time of day. Now, you can rotate this light however you want, but it's the X value that's truly going to change the time of day. So if I rotate it in the Y, it'll only move the shadows. So giving it just a slight angle like I just did will then cast those shadows away from us. Now the Create Physical Sun and Sky is actually a pretty complex network of nodes, 
and it does add a few nodes to your camera itself. And the node that it's adding there is to control the gamma of the scene. So you can see here that we are doing a gamma correction and adding a gamma of 2.2 to get these values back into proper intensities. And you can find that on the camera itself. And that was the camera that we had selected when we applied it. So I'll choose my camera. We'll just select it and I'll go into the attribute editor and scroll down to mental ray. And there you see that it did add an environment shader and a lens shader. And this lens shader is what's controlling our gamma correction. This concludes our movie on the physical sun and sky.